fantastic. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to uh, the Horology Wrist podcast um, with one new mic and one re- revised mic. So hopefully the sound quality is a lot better this time. Apologies for the uh, sound quality last time. It was uh, a little bit echoey, um, but hopefully this is now fixed. Um, episode two. So yeah, happy days. Um, it's come out pretty quick. Harry, how's your week been so far? Steady. Can't complain. Steady, can't complain. Yeah. That is thrilling. I know, amazing stuff. You do went know how to, to a, live. Went to a car event on Sunday. Nice. To, uh, well, I was shooting it. I was covering the event for the uh, for the company that hosted it, which was fun. Good. Um, followed by a Sunday dinner. A couple of pints of Guinness, you can't beat it. Lovely, so lovely. Sundays are full. Highlight of your week? Probably a couple of pints of Guinness and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and a couple Sunday, of Guinness and and a Sunday, Sunday roast. roast. Yeah, yeah. Good, good stuff. What about um, yourself? Uh, yeah, all right. We went down to Birmingham to see the in-laws. Um, highlight of my week was I got a new watch carry case. Which was very in-laws. nice. It's very nice. Got very my nice. initials on it. It's a brown leather tan. Um, three watches. Very satisfying uh, clicks. Very satisfying on the poppers, yeah. Yeah, the poppers, yeah. that's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, so on today's episode, we are talking primarily about watches. We may go on a tangent at some point, most likely. Um and we've got we've got a few interesting ones that ha- Harry hasn't seen yet. Um, so there's a couple of new APs. Um, well, one new AP um, and one fairly re- recently released AP, and then also a controversial brand. Which was the one that? So, so I found uh, that AP on TikTok um, that I showed you, but you said it wasn't that, and the TikTok that I watched said it was was new. Yes, there is a, there is a couple of other new ones, but, but these are Royal Oaks. Because it was a skeleton, wasn't it, that I showed you? Yes, yeah, that's a, a caliber one six something. Um, but these these are Royal Oaks. We also had price changes. No, yes, noted down. Yes, we will go over price changes. So we start with price changes. We could do also. Um, have you got your IFL watch with you? Mentioned in last episode. But I, I, I... Um, is it already, is already on I Charlie's think, wrist? Yeah, I think Charlie's nicked it already, right, to be honest. fantastic. Maybe um, next episode. She did say she was going to wear it. Yeah. Um, it is very nice. It's a very nice coral colour. Yeah. Um, for some reason, it feels smaller than the other G-Shocks that we have in the house, the other 2100 A's, AEs. Um, but it is exactly the same size. It is a good-looking watch, though. It's a it, very tasty watch. It, it didn't disappoint. Like, it looks... A, kind of exactly how you'd hope it yeah look. it's not like there's a change in color from the website to the yeah so the shout out to ifl for that one yeah. um they've already gone up in value as well yeah what was it nice. when i looked the other day because we said we were going to speak about watch price increases mm. i know this was a bit of a, like every other watch we're going to mention is one in our own personal collections that just for whatever reason whether it's inflation or just annual price increases has gone up in in retail value Mm. Um, but then because you purchased the IFL, I had a quick look. The lowest price I could find on a, what was it, 500 and... 520 pounds. 20 pound watch. The cheapest one I could find was 870. Mm. And then we looked yesterday and the yeah. cheapest one was 800. Yeah. 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 It's only been out a week. Yeah. But the, 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 there is a seller on eBay who is selling, I think they've bought a few mm. by the looks of it. Mm. Um, so they are selling off a few, but I reckon give it a month. Um, and they'll go up a bit more. Some previous IFL G Shocks have gone for a couple of thousand, mm. um, which is mental. Yeah. But yeah, price increase. So if you didn't know, recently all the major brands have had a price increase. Um, there was talks of Amiga doing it for a year, like a few years. Yeah, and then they announced it was coming out February third, yeah. and it was a seven percent increase. Um, we'll focus on the watches that we have because mm. we've got a good reference of how much we've paid for them and what they are now. Um, we'll start with Omega, 7% increase. Um, so if you wanted a Hesselite Speedmaster, which is the one I have, I bought it for £6,000. And you bought it when? I bought it in October um, 2022, and it is now £6,400. Mm. Um, if you want the Sapphire Sandwich, or the Sapphire Open Case Back, um, that was 6800 is now 7400 I believe. So they're just in, that's just in the last year, but then if you look at so my Seamaster that I purchased, I think three years ago, mm-hmm. I think that's what I've settled on was, yep. was three years ago. I uh, I bought it from Berries, but didn't pay uh, 
full retail for it i yep. got a roughly 15 percent off but the retail at the time was four thousand four hundred and fifty pounds and if you go to buy one today it's five thousand and five hundred pound it's a big increase yeah i mean that is over a few years that's 12 percent increase yeah there's a lot a full bag a full bag a full bag full bag um, um yeah interesting interesting story as well while i was in birmingham hmm. um I don't know if they have increased, but I was in... I went to the Fraser Hart yeah. in Birmingham, and I saw a Green Dial PRX, um, yeah. Powermatic 80, yeah. um, being sold for £610. I I thought they just kind of stayed solid at 595 Same. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not too sure what Fraser Hart or Goldsmiths in... Uh, in it was in Stockton. But no, it wasn't Stockton, it's uh, Stoke. You look at that, uh, the the PRX Chrono. What, what was that? That's still one thousand five hundred pounds. Still one thousand five hundred. Not changed in the not last. Not changed. No. In the last year. Um, Cartier, they've gone up. Mm. Um, I paid for my Santos Large, um, six thousand seven hundred pounds. And what are they now? I still know. I still have it down as six thousand seven hundred quid. When I still six thousand. Oh, yeah. that's okay then. So Cartier yeah. is still holding strong. Tudor, on the other hand, no. Oh, go on. I think when I first was looking at a Black Bay Fifty Eight, yeah, the gold, uh, the not gold, but uh, the blackface, uh, one black dial, yep, uh, they were like high two thousands, like two thousand nine hundred, roughly. Right. Okay. Um, I think I actually don't have that wrote down. Um, I have the GMT and the Pro. Okay, go on. I'm, I'm uh, so I think the GMT was like just above 3000 wasn't it like yeah 3200 i remember it being like 3195 yeah so around 3200 um you bought yours for 3600 i mean 3460 sorry didn't you yes I did, yeah. yes uh so anyway back when we first look in 3200 uh they now go for 3590 pounds on the on the website oh really yeah um i mean the pro is a recent one so the pro is very the pro is the most recent tudor yeah. i believe and that's to say they've got the same movement, don't they? Uh, it is the MT2526 movement, I believe. So still in house. And still a, in house. And a GMT. And a GMT. Uh, and and a tru- better, true uh, GMT as well. Arguably better looking as well. A lot better looking. And it's cheaper. Yep. 530 quid. Yep. Um, but that's not changed at all. Rolex. Uh, so uh, I bought my date just. Yep. 41 mil um that is the two tones so it's the ever rose on a jubilee bracelet with chocolate dial i bought that for eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds in november mm. they're all very close together it's very shameful um that is now twelve thousand four hundred fifty twelve thousand four hundred fifty four hundred fifty it's gone, yeah. up, it's gone up another 50 quid. another 50 pounds so um it was twelve thousand four hundred last month the start of last month so that's interesting another 50 pounds um, my beloved Tag Heuer oh, two tone. They're not charging more for those, are they? they? Are I've, uh, I think when I bought it, it was one thousand seven hundred fifty, and it's now close enough to two grand. Oh dear me! Um, What's the world coming to? I know. It's just interesting to see. Uh, I mean, inf- inflation is is one thing, but uh, I mean, like, Amiga is obviously trying to go closer to how Rolex is, and yeah adds an extra premium and uh i think reduce the um the supply yeah um, but it's also making the inflation's okay but it's making nice watches more unobtainable at, at a good price yeah nice watches at a decent price yeah unobtainable but that's also kind of a good thing who for people who've already bought the watches because mm. it shows that the market's going up in value yeah. i want to know what the profit margins are in these watches because yes there's hours and hours of work that goes into them what's friends and family discount what was it 25 percent f- yeah normally for if you work in a jewelry shop yeah 20 to 25 percent and obviously apart from on like rolex and yes i don't yeah. think you can get it on can you get it on omega i think so yeah oh, right i don't yeah probably on tag you can probably get 50 percent off on tag yeah um but yeah so it's, it's kind of like a um, catch 22 because th- even though they're going up and they're being more unobtainable and it means that the watch community could potentially be smaller especially for the younger generation 
the people who've already bought the watches are making money on them. Mm. So I, I could go sell my Speedmaster and probably get what I paid for it. Yeah. But when I bought it, I would have lost 500 quid. That's the thing. When I bought... Oh, uh, well, I, I guess because I got the 15% discount. Because mm. of that, when I bought my Seamaster, when I checked on like Chrono24 the next day or whatever, I was yeah. like... I at no point through owning that watch have I lost any money on it. Yeah. Um, which is always a good place to be. Yeah. I think that's the thing with the Speedmaster though. It's very... There's a lot around. Mm. Um, but that wasn't really the point for me. Yeah. Um, I've bought watches to make money on and that wasn't one of them. Um, but yeah, interesting. Mm. Interesting. I wonder how much... Like, I wonder what the ceiling is. Because at, well, at some point you would look at like a Seamaster and think that is too much money for that watch yeah so, so we'll, like, we'll discuss i think you've got the same thought of what i've going through in my head when yeah. i picked up my tudor black bay pro yeah how much more would you be willing to pay for that watch well so well, well while we were in there mm. um i i was told that two till three o'clock was booked out um oh my mac is going off I do apologize for that um and I was thinking, oh, okay, yeah, we the, witnessed uh, James Bond, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So we thought it'd just be some. They were just fully booked out. And we got in. There's no one else in. Mm. We got there at one um, or quarter past one, um, and we we sat around for a while as we do, and we talked and drinked and whatnot. Um, and all of a sudden, um, Frank, the legend that he is, shout out Frank, um, came out in a full three piece tux with a massive black bag, and he said it weighed twenty twenty five kg. twenty five kilograms. Yeah, yeah. It was a massive box, wasn't it? It was, a it, was bo- huge. it was a box and a box. Yeah, it was a suitcase. It was bigger a than a suitcase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, opened it up and there was a briefcase inside. Gloss finish. Um, made a full metal. Inside there, there was there was cocktail glasses, a shaker. Um, the watch wasn't even in there because it couldn't be travelled in there for insurance yeah, purposes. Yeah. And it was a pl- full platinum. Um, it was the 007... 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary Seamaster. Yeah. Full platinum. Um, on a rubber strap or leather strap is one of the two I think it's rubber um, for £48,000 something like that yeah I mean it was, it was a cool experience we we sat in the corner looking at a three grand watch <laughs> yeah while this obscenely was, rich man walked in a Bond music played he had his yeah. he had his martini yeah I mean bless them they, did, they put in like a full effort and I said yeah. to them next time I come in I want, you, I want you to play Eye of the Tiger as I walk in um but yeah, they they played it on the James Bond theme song, so they sat there, ding, 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 yeah. as he was like walking away from up from Boots. And he enjoyed himself as well. Oh yeah, he yeah. loved it. Yeah, and we just sat in the corner very awkwardly and quietly. Um, but it was cool. It was, it was nice to see that they go to that extent. Mm. Um, but again, I looked at the watch, and there's a couple of different details and stuff. But I wouldn't pay forty eight grand for that. Mm. You could get an AP Royal Oak for forty eight grand. You could get the uh, full gold green face uh, Speedmaster. Yes. Which is, I think, a stunning looking watch. Much, much like, better watch. Amazing looking watch. I'm just going to uh, mute my uh, Mac. Um, there we go. I think that's 45. It's less than that. Is it? Yeah. Oh, all right. I think it's 28. No way? Yeah, all yeah. Right. It's full gold with a green dial Speedmaster. I'm pretty sure it's 28. It's, uh, it's a lot less than what that was. Um, yeah, it was interesting. It was a good, good experience. Um, but again, I think that's pushing the boundary. It was, uh, from my understanding, from what they told us, forty thousand three hundred pounds. Oh, is it? Mm. I, do, I stand correct. Is the the we were both wrong. We were both wrong. Both wrong. You were the closest though. Still forty. Yeah. So yeah, forty thousand pounds buys you a full gold with green dial. I mean, there's definitely not Speedmaster. I'd assume there's not the same presentation with that. And possibly not got the same collector's thing. No, because the, I guess one of the things with that uh, that Seamaster was that it was one of like that was the most recent one made. It was not, yeah. So that they are made to order. Yeah. To a limited amount of numbers, but they haven't actually sold, said how many numbers mm. they're doing. Um, and his was uh thirty five. Mm. Um, so that was the thirty fifth one made ever. Yep. Um, which is cool. Which I don't think you then get with with this. That's thirty eight thousand four hundred. Uh, Beaver Brooks, it was forty k. Ah, uh, right, okay. So it, it depends just, on where you go. It's just a then. website that I've I've never heard of Banks Leon no. before. Oh yeah, I've heard of Banks Leon. Um, yeah, if you look at Beaver Brooks, it's forty thousand three hundred, and they seem to be normally. Well, I wonder what goldsmiths say. Oh, that's on leather. 
Oh, so uh, is it 27 on leather? 27 on leather. On right. crocodile leather. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. One day, maybe. One day. Uh, I hope so. 40... Uh, just a uh, another... close your close your screen Sorry. before you ruin uh, yeah, the yeah. Uh, another thing surprises. Forty if you got forty bags to spend on watches. Yep. One watch or like what you what what you buying? What's the shopping list? Um. Do, do you, I do you blow it all on? Do I have the watches I have now, as well, or do I have to start fresh? Yeah, you get forty grand to add to your collection. Two watches. You're gonna buy two watches. Two watches. And what are they? Bluesy Submariner. Yeah. Um, which is new is twelve. Okay, right. So we we'll off retail. Uh, well, All right. It's a magical world where you've just been gifted forty grand and you can get whatever watch you want straight, at retail. At retail, right? Okay. This magical that, cha- that changes things. This then. wonderful world that changes things. You know. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. Uh, okay. So three watches. Bluesy. Yep. At twelve. At twelve. Um. Panda, chronograph, Rolex. What are they? Fifteen? No, way less. Nine, nine and a half. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah, the cheap. That's to not say, right. To say that they sell for thirty. Yeah, yeah, it's they are. They are cheap. Okay. Um. Well, I we'll say cheap in in comparison to what they mm. resell for. Um. But they're the most sought after, and then um some form of vintage AP. Yourself, forty grand. Go. What are you doing? What are you buying? How many? This man's gonna go buy tag in he. <laughs> uh rose gold chocolate dial uh day date. Just the one watch then. Oh, is that forty grand at retail? Yeah. Oh. Or thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. And then we're gonna do with the four. Buy a tag. <laughs> <laughs> Get a Monaco. Buy, buy an old I don't know. If you, you could buy an old beat up some mariner yeah. and clean it up yourself. Um, have to be very beat up. Have to be very beat up. Yeah. No. Well, actually, while we're in, while we're down in Birmingham, there was a vintage watch store, mm. and they had a vintage Submariner for nine grand. Um, it's a nineteen seventies one. Um, very clean. Don't know what I'd do with a four. Strippers. It's got to be watches though. That's the. Oh uh, right. Uh, yeah. You can't. No. Has it got to be watch related watch or related. an actual watch? I think I'd just uh, that'd be it. I don't. I don't know. I, f- I quite like that watch at the moment. It's it's a very it's it's a gorgeous like watch, yeah. Yeah. Just the thing g- with me for that is I've I've had gold. Mm. A, it scratches very yeah, easily. Yeah, like loads. Especially polished. Yeah. Um, and it's also... It's very blingy. Mm. And I don't like to be seen. I don't like to be noticed. The rose gold's less than the go- than actual like normal gold, though. Yeah, but I feel like if people saw rose gold, they think mm. that's that's quite a bit. But if people see yellow gold, I feel like they might just think, oh, it's just a gold watch. Like Michael Kors. There's a Michael Kors, which is gold, and it, it's got yeah. the same presidential bracelet style. Anyway, I think people are going to hate us for this now. In a, yeah, in a, in a, um, but in that world, I would probably, that would be the watch I'd go for. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Just one um, watch. Shall we move on to the new AP launches? Go on, uh, which I've not looked on my... So this is this is so if you go to the first tab, please. First tab. So this is the new uh, Royal Oak, full white gold, um, with a yeah, it's brushed white gold with a stardust dial. Um, the reference, what's the reference on this? One five two o two. One five two o two. Yes, so it's the ultra thin jumbo. Oh no, we say goodbye to one five two o two. We say hello to the one six two o two. Oh yeah, one six two o two. Yeah. yeah. So it's the new ultra thin jumbo. So it's thirty nine mil. Um, case diameter and 12 or 11 mil thin and I'm saying thin because that's stupidly thin it does um, look thin but full white gold um, again with that stardust texture dial which I think is a big move from AP because obviously if you've got flat dials or somewhat textured but not you know we're almost going into like Grand Seiko territory with the dial finish I think it's lovely I think it's stunning good movement what's your initial thoughts on now seeing it for the first time not a massive fan you're not a massive fan you know why because there's this um, there's this watch uh, brand that I, like you, I, not anymore but I used to see a lot on TikTok 
and it was a copy of a, the AP shape. I can't. It's like it's Paul. Yes. Card or something. I know who. Yes, yes. I never thought of and that. And because of that sparkly thing, that's like the they never they did, did that. They yeah. Never did like a textured um, like if I pull up an, a normal a textured textured AP dial, Royal Oak. Um, their dials never looked like how the Royal Oak dials do. Sorry, I'm going to have to find one. Sorry, I, I know what you're on about, though. You I know exactly what I mean. So you see how that's got that square kind of textured Yeah, looking, it's got batons. Yeah, uh, all that sort of stuff. They never did that. They just went the opposite direction to like, it was flat, but flashy and sparkly. Yes. So I do know what it, you mean. Instead of... instead, It's of, not movement, Instead of it? cheap copying expensive yeah it now seems like it's just reversed right and that is a mate like that is an amazing looking watch but yeah I some shit that. tiktok sorry yeah shit, it's right. it's ruined it's just ruined this um this whole thing for me i think the um the white gold is cool it looks you know it's classic ap brushed looks amazing yep cracking um nice with the the date as well because a lot of don't a lot of Royal Oaks not have a not have a date? You don't get many uh, complications with a Yeah, with that, a Royal that, that is no, the only... There's no chronograph hand. There's no... There's no second hand. I thought the... This is where I'm going to seem like an idiot again. Mm. I thought when you ha- have a chronograph and there's the three dials, that's when you get the second hand. Yes, but, it is. Yeah, but on but a, Roy- a normal but, Royal Oak, yeah. there's no second hand. No, but I'm saying that on so... I don't have a normal watch on. I thought the, the hand is called the chronograph hand. That, like the third hand on the big dial is it i don't know this is what I, oh. that's what i thought i thought this is me probably watching too many like nico videos and getting too much information yeah probably confused but i thought like the second hand was in one of the chronograph wheels and the chronograph hand is a complication for um yeah yeah the on the chronograph f- no, no 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 i mean like on a normal doesn't pick up a phone call for like four days in a row and then you, you, know, you can answer it if you need right. we can pause um you sure you might need you no it's fine um let, let's search this to see how much of an idiot i am no i think you're right but the 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 16202 does not have a yeah, second hand that's what i mean so complications on the ap are normally like few and far between yes um yes i, I reckon viewer retention has, has plummeted now after yeah. that uh yeah chrono- oh it's called a chronograph second hand aka center stop second hand right that right, is, I'm with you. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I don't think I'm either of us are wrong on that on that one. Yeah. Anyway, so you, n- normally with an AP Royal Oak, you get very basic, yeah. non-complicated and movement. You, doesn't doesn't the one that's got like a tourbillon in it still have like no? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's bizarre. Yeah. But then with this one, you've now got a date window. And you said some, something about the movement, but again, my very uh, like I don't have much AP knowledge. Mm. Haven't they been using the same movement for? Um, a long like, time. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's robust, but yeah. there's been no like... I, personal thoughts on AP is if you can get one at retail, great. I still think they're a bit overpriced. Mm. Um, That's what I mean. For what you get, you've had like no advancements in like the... Or complication, which is what people care about. like Because everything's as accurate as it really needs to be. Yeah. So now it's everything's like a complication for complication's sake. Yeah. Um, I almost like knowing what second it is as well. Yeah, because it it would sweeping hands are nice. Yeah, a nice thing to look at. So there, there's a thought as well. If you put on your AP and worn it a couple of days, it's in your case, whatever. If you chucked it on, say you, it died at midnight at like mm. ten past twelve. It's a very specific. And you put it on at twenty ten past twelve. Yeah. The following day. And it's but it had run out of juice. Or, yeah. And it's running without a running without a time wheel. It would show the right time uh, running without second hand. Sorry, it would show the right time, the right date, but you wouldn't know that it's not that it's not running. Fifty meter water resistance. That's pretty poor, even in Victor at two hundred meters. I mean, uh, realistically, that's it's as ne- s- that's as necessary as it needs to be. No, I know, yeah, but, but um, yeah. So my my overall thoughts of this, are, it's not great. It's, it's not, not great. Actually, to start great. With. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I've. I'm again both of these watches are like out of my uh you know out of my league but I'm Patek over AP every day of the week. If you're going to put if you're going to yeah. put sports watches next to each other, I'd rather have a Nautilus than a than a Royal Oak. Yeah, so I I prefer the look of the Royal Oak. 
and I like the bro. I love the brace of the Royal Oak, but I'd rather have tech movement in there. Yeah, I just think. And name. I think out of the two. It, yeah. Yeah. Just if every, um I if Patek and the Patek. yeah if a, if AP and Patek are watching or listening, um which they're not they're not but if they do it won't this yeah. might blow up you never know please have a baby with each other and create a AP looking Patek. I know the Nautilus is is fairly that is as yeah but that's the same kind of like design and you know of yeah. style sports watch yeah there's, design every, there's, so there's gonna, thousands of watches now yeah. they all look the I same. just that is just leaning towards it's annoying me that i can't remember the yeah, name yeah it's of like that. paul richard or something like yeah. that isn't it yeah and I, I know who you mean i know who you mean and i'm sure if, if if you know in the comments please please do let us know paul richard watch it is did i get it right paul you richard did. well done yeah stardust silver stardust silver for there 335 dollars you can own the brand new 16202 yeah <laughs> AP. And it's got a second hand. And it's got a second hand. So it's a more Probably complicated not movement. Thing, though. It's, it's are they not? Are they quartz or plastic? Surely they're quartz. Oh, it is 45 mil, though. Ooh, <laughs> oh, no, you it's can. a big boy. Oh, okay. No, you're right. Um, can you choose between quartz and automatic? You can. You wow. Can. Apparently, they're the same price. Really? Yeah, that That's is... That's worrying. That is astonishing. Um, the price doesn't update further down, does it? No. No. Okay. No. Um, apparently just no matter what you go for oh the 42 is more expensive than the 45 interesting um, it's also got it's Paul Rich not Paul Richard but yeah. we, were, we were close it's also got the Rolls Royce logo yep yeah so that's good yep good bit of copyright there um, that's what I think of when I see that new AP I see it now and you've, you've annoyed me that because I really liked it yeah Okay, cool. Second AP. Okay, so we've now just ruined. We're 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 just yeah. Okay, I'll cry later about it. We've talked rubbish about price increases. We've now just crap ruined. On. Yeah, ruined dreams. A lovely, a lovely watch. Yeah, and said how we like protect more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next AP. Hopefully, this will uh, this will all do better. Better. See, this is interesting. <laughs> Again, do you get what I mean? Though there's all this going on. We've got a moon face. We've got so just just to confirm with the the, the listeners you yeah. can't see, we are currently looking at the all titanium AP Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar Ultra Thin, Thin. Forty One Mil. So it's quite a uh, rolls off the tongue that title. Yeah, I love it. That is something they do do well to give AP all the you know credit where credit's due. They make a good thin nicely sized watch yes that is one thing that i don't think very comfortable as well one really does much probably much better yeah is yeah you get you can you can get all the complications and not get all the bulk that would come with it in a, from a different yes um a so different, there's uh, only watch. one thing that i've got to pick out about this watch go on it is the, and I understand why they're there, but it's the location of the pushers on the side to adjust the dials. Not that. Yes. Um, so on the side of watch, there's some small pins, essentially, that you, you put a pusher into, and that's yeah. how you adjust the uh, parts of the chronograph or the uh, the perpetual calendar, the date, and whatnot on the month. Um, apart from the location of that, because it's not, it's, not, it's not symmetrical, I think it looks fab. I'd I prefer it. I prefer the textured dial to the yeah to the brushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the old one? I believe so. Yeah, that's that's a bit of me more than. Yeah, more that's than fair. That. I think that the, uh, the 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 light has been accentuated quite a lot yeah. on the uh, on three D graphic. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just seems a bit like flat. Flat. Yeah, no, I'll so get that. In the light, it seems too much. Out the light, it doesn't seem enough. Yeah, but being made out of t- titanium is how titanium. light is it? Titanium, yeah. 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 How light is it? Because it's very, very thin. Yeah. Um, how thin is it? Does it say the movement? I think in it is like. Oh, the movement is two point nine mil. Two point nine mil thin. Which is silly. Ooh. And it's got nice open case. Still back. got room for an open heart. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can go back and find the actual case thickness because I've probably just blasted past that. That's all right. Um, Be interested to know how how much it weighs as well. Because mm. I feel like if you bought an AP, you'd want it to be quite weighty. 
I understand with the whole going off topic slightly, the whole Rashad Mill side of things. Mm. Um, that's large size, no weight, isn't it? With the Rashad Mill, it is, yeah. But they're also designed mostly for sport, mm. um, so I understand that. Imagine swinging a ten- tennis racket with like this on your wrist. That's a ball of move. It's a ball of move. Depends how much it weighs, though. Mm. It could weigh, you know, two hundred grams. Oh, okay, so diameter forty-one mil. We knew that the thickness is six point two. So just over double the the um, the thickness of the movement, which is very impressive. Seventy-five grams. What? It weighs seventy-five grams. Uh, the case material is titanium. Um, Sem- the entire watch is, is 75, 75 grams. grams. The Richard Mill weighs two. Oh no, the Richard Mill doesn't weigh two hundred grams. It weighs fifty. But that is made out of like carbon and like. Yeah, s- yeah. Sorry, yeah, but I'm correcting myself because I said two hundred grams it? earlier. Twenty meters water resistance. I think that's ex- you know like that's all right. Yeah, for the watch. Like, there's that's understandable in it. I really. wouldn't swim with it. No, you, yeah, I wouldn't do a lot of things with that. Put it in a safe. Yeah. 75 grams? 75 grams. That's not a big bag of sugar. No. That's... Wor- I, I would... I would, And the price will be silly. I'd be worried about putting that on my wrist. Because I wouldn't Four, be able to feel it. 40 hours power reserve. That's pretty poor as well. Yeah, but it's not really got the space for... It's aut- if it's automatic, it's, it's going to be on your wrist and constantly winding though, isn't it? So or it's not- in a safe in your case. Yeah, or in a safe. But... Mm. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Right, final topic: a watch brand that you've never heard of and they're a bit controversial. Pagani Design. I have seen them. Yeah. So. So we've got a GMT there on a Jubilee. Yeah. So we're on their website currently, and they um, essentially Pagani Design are a brand that just copies um, every major brand's look. So we've even got an Omega Seamaster. James Bond 007 edition on oh, the yeah. Milanese bracelet. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can get anything. You can get the new Sprite, um, the left-handed yeah. GMT. You can get the GMT Master 2. You can get an Omega Speedmaster. People aren't happy about that. Go Think about the ro- the actual Rolex Sprite. With the, yeah. Th- that didn't seem to go down well. It looks weird. Yeah. Submariner. Submariner. Yeah. Date just. But there's, there's loads. Chronographs, everything. Oh, I can get my full gold. If you wanted to, yeah. Day date. If if tell you what, discounted I'll, from ninety six pounds. F- to how much? Eighty eight. Wow. So there's, there's you can get your. Uh, I can get my panda. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can get your panda for sixty four yeah, pounds. You've got the words there. I have no. I was thinking of what the uh, the bezel is definitely not made out of. Ceramic. Ceramic. That's the one. Yeah. Um. So there's there's big boys like AP and Nautilus. Omega and Rolex making seven percent increases, but Pagani Design on the other hand, they're making discounts. So that's gotta be worth it. Yeah, Tudors, everything you can uh, I'll point out Ooh. these are just designs off of. I might take back my um uh my day date thing, although I don't actually know the price of this and it's probably way oh, okay. more than forty K. Um don't know any of the details but the the rolex daytona with the meteorite dial okay yeah how much am i over budget quite a bit yeah Th- yeah that i is think a-, a they don't make them anymore mm. so you can't get them mm-hmm. and retail them gray market price you're looking i'm gonna guess one hundred and fifty thousand pounds that is my guess we are currently researching I shall fill the void <laughs> as we research. Um, Go on, break the news to me. 80k? That's not too bad, actually. I I, I could have, you know, I was, I kind of backed your thought of 150. I thought it was going to be about 150. Oh, no, there's a full gold one uh, for 150. Is it the GMT Master 2 meteorite dial that goes for 150? No, though? that's the Daytona. No, 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 sorry. The, the, there is a GMT Master oh, okay. 2 meteorite dial. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's the one that goes for 150. Um, interesting. So you can't actually pick that from your 40,000 no, pounds. But hey ho. Live and learn. So yeah. Um, 57k. Really? Mm. That's very cheap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 60 bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 100 grand <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. 
a <laughs> hundred grand off in your, that's the that i think that summarizes the issue with um like watch enthusiasts yeah you just said <laughs> i thought yeah. it was 150 you found out the real price and the way you've justified that in your head is that's a hundred grand off <laughs> yeah it's three times less than it was than i thought it was <laughs> so it's you know. not off nothing <laughs> yeah no no yeah um yeah down to earth and whatnot um so yeah what's your thoughts on pagani design because a few pe- I've seen a few people ask on TikTok what they, um, you know, other owners, what they think of them, and they all rate them, and they're all apparently very well made. And I can't imagine the bracelets, like, don't rattle. I feel like they've got an absolute cult following, and whoever buys them probably over time has spent the same amount as a Omega on these um and they absolutely love them so they won't ever slay them mm. i reckon it's one of those followings and they'll say oh it's the it's the best thing ever you won't believe the quality for the price why are rolex charging this blah 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 when actually they're just rattly and look the materials crap. yeah they're going to be rattly the materials not going to be good the the like the actual reliability uh and durability of the watch is going to be poor yeah those I'm going to call them gemstones and be polite. They ain't staying in forever on the uh, no. fake rainbow. Unless it is just plastic glued in. But even still, that's not that's not staying yeah. in. Um, but going back to what I said last week, I said uh, saying about the benefit of, again, this is probably being nice calling it like a designer watch, but when I was saying about designer brand watches having their a benefit, being yeah. obviously being on trend and being cheaper that someone may have bought 10 of these yes could have bought an iseco or something better yeah um but is probably more bothered about matching it with an outfit or and having options than they are just having one good watch yeah so it's definitely for someone it's not for a watch someone who cares about watches though i might buy one for the next episode so we can review it in person and we can give a honest feedback on it because then, then we'll be able to see how oh, it actually is we can, or whatnot. We can get the Meteorite Dial Daytona. Oh, really? For £66. Is it real Meteorite, do you reckon? It's definitely not the one that Rolex farms off of. No. No. Do you know that's now closed off? You can't actually get access to it anymore. I thought they bought the land that it that it landed on. And that the, all the Meteorite Dials are from just one Meteorite. They are, yeah. Yeah. I um, thought they owned like but... that strip, like that portion of land. I believe they did. Yeah, but then there was some government law somewhere or something. Said they said they can't, you can't harvest off it anymore. Um, because it was needed for research or something, mm. something among those lines. I'm sure someone in the comments will let us know. Um, but yeah, that's where, where that's why the meteorite dial is no longer somewhere eastern. Okay. Um, as far as I'm aware, anywhere's eastern. I was going to say, it depends which way you go. It's technically west as well. Yeah, I was going to, you just go eastern all the way around. Yeah. You could go eastern, you know, 350 degrees and you'd end up 10 degrees at west. The right, at the right spot. Yeah. Yeah. We'll buy, well, I'll buy one for the next episode. Gold's always the biggest giveaway. Yeah, I think if we get a, a stainless steel one. Yeah. Um, they do Tiffany dials. I did see yeah, a Tiffany Yeah, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of a Tiffany. Um, so I might, I might... All skeletons. I might uh might invest in qu- is that sorry is that a PRX is that a fake that P- is a PRX so a very obtainable cheap watch they've copied and made even cheaper good good um right so yeah for the next episode um I will I will purchase one of these or maybe even two we could get a um we could get a Speedmaster and compare it to my Speedmaster um and then potentially I reckon we'll just get like an outrageous one as well. An outrageous one like as well, one that's yeah. meant to be something that's like 50k plus. Well, there's an AP thing there. Yeah, yeah, an AP thing. Yeah, yeah. Or a Tiffany Dial Patek. Something that. tasty there. Have we got anything else to talk about in this episode? We've got uh, five minutes left before we hit 45 minutes, which is pretty good. Quickly exciting news. Go on. You're going to become a father to a puppy. I am. You're Thank you for bringing that up, excited. actually. I, I, was, I was going to try and slip that in. anticipation in your face. Yes, I was going to try and slip this in. Um, earlier but it didn't really fit the conversation but yes um, after wanting a dog since I was 10 and doing years of research I'm happy to announce that um, young Atticus 
will be joining the household. More commonly, will be more commonly referred to as Atty, probably. Yes, yeah. most most probably. Yeah. Um, he is a toy cockapoo. Um, oh, the TV, uh, the lighting's changed. Oh, don't start playing ridiculously loud music. I'm just going to put the uh, TV back onto the uh, the white light if it decides to come back Ooh. on. There we go. Um, sorry, I'm using my TV currently as a white light. Um, just professional. To, professional just to light us up mm. a bit more. Um, yep, so he's a toy cockapoo. Um, we met him yesterday. He is an absolute delight. Um, I will enter. I will put a photograph on the screen uh, now so for you on YouTube you can see him. Um, he is currently five weeks old. We pick him up in a month. Um, me and Harry have got a lot of redesign to do in my house. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult. I don't think it's too difficult. No, we just got a, we once, once we choose the sh- once we choose the size. Well, I say we once you choose the size of the cage, it's just gonna be a case of building that shelving unit yeah. around it. Yeah. So to to fill viewers and listeners very quickly, I was supposed to move house um, at the end of last year. Um, to a much bigger, nicer house, which has cost way more than this does. Good thing that I didn't in the end. Um, but we packed. I mean, it literally got to the night before mm. of moving, and we didn't move um, because the landlord was a bit pain. Um, but a lot of stuff that we packed away, we realised we don't actually really need mm. until we get a bigger house. So a lot of it is still packed up. Um, so we need to sort that out, um, which we will do over the next following week. Or so. Um, I also had a note down of the Novation launch pad. Again, not watch related, but something that yes, interesting. Yeah, well, we'll bring it up more in the next episode. I bought a Novation launch pad. Um, any of you who watch uh, Fred again, I'm a big fan, and I come from a musical family. Shout out Andrew, um, what a legend. Um, yes, I bought a launch pad. Good, good fun, good laugh. Has been a lot of fun. If you um, if you have a look on our Instagram, Horology Wrists, so um, you'll see a photo on there of Uranus on the launch pad. Completely like different levels of musical talent. Obviously, you being talented. Uh, play what was it? Anything Piano, that doesn't require guitar uh, blowing into. Yeah, pretty much. And I I can't at all. And yeah. I still managed to put something to get. I was just messing around with lo-fi beats, wasn't I? Really? Yeah. But it's quite interesting. What was it? Ninety quid. Eighty nine, ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like the the limitless possibilities. With yeah, you it, can do anything. That you can loop with it. You can create your entry. It's it is very good. relaxing. Just putting a beat together and playing yeah. the loops and drums and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's, it's a. In, it's interesting to learn about it as well. Mm. Um, if you're into, if you're thinking about getting into music or really are into music, I'd recommend getting one. Um, you can download a program called Ableton Live, um, and in there, um, there's a, there's a guy called Cal Cobus, Cal Cobes, something like that. Um, he's on YouTube. He's like the Launchpad King. Um, you can download Ableton Live projects of popular songs. So I've mm. got like Bangarang from Skrillex and that kind of thing. Um, and it's not just press a button it says bang rang it's yeah. press four buttons and it goes back at, at a rang yeah. so you've got to get a lot of the right timing stuff so it is so you can turn it into a bit of a game can't you yeah it's just remembering it's the, been the, interesting yeah, to the see though, like your dad who does more classical stuff mm. you who's been focused more on kind of like house music and mm. and all that sort of stuff and then I, like I say I was just playing around with lo-fi stuff and yeah, all of yeah. it it just did it all it just worked with everything yeah. so shout out to Innovation um, again, another fun. another sponsor. Ask if you want to sponsor us. Let us know. <laughs> uh, we didn't hear back from last time from um, Tiso, um, so no sponsorship there. Maybe so that's one fine. day when we start selling the uh, straps for the watch. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, little. Uh, you mentioned that last time. Little insight, did I? Yeah, you did. Sound, that's all right then. That's it's, right. it's going well. We're um, the manufacturer is uh, doing well with it. Oh, nice. So yeah, PRX straps, rubber straps coming soon, and they won't be two hundred pounds. Not, I think uh, that, that is just like not saying any brand. And it won't yeah, it not mentioning any power. strap brand. Ours won't be two hundred pounds for a rubber strap. Fab. Well, one last thing. Go on. Controversial for us. Oh, okay. What happened on Instagram yesterday? Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Let's not let's not name drop them. But let's, let's not. Um, just, I think interesting when it comes to business. This is probably going to come up like maybe drag over another five ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. But just that. Uh, someone who is quite clearly a competitor. Did they pre-exist just on et- uh, Etsy or something I think just before? on Etsy, yeah. And then they've moved over to creating a website and whatnot and being more or trying to build a social media following. Um, literally went directly to our account and went down every follower that we had yeah. and followed them. 
and it was what i think the most interesting thing about that because it's not like an unusual tactic but the amount of people that we have message us saying yeah so we've is got this your new new branded rebranded business yeah that was the worrying thing we had a lot yeah. of um people asking if we've rebranded we've had phone calls family members ringing and text us saying have you seen this company um we i did i dm'd them um because I, I believe that following followers is an old tactic that doesn't really work anymore mm. um i dm'd them saying that and i said that i don't really appreciate it obviously there's some customers worried about their privacy um because obviously a few accounts were private yeah um and they requested to follow them um they didn't respond i emailed them they didn't respond i messaged them saying hello on a different account and they rep- they, they read that mm. and uh didn't reply but mm. It was quite funny seeing that you've got like three accounts logged into your phone. I've got two or three accounts on mine. Yeah. And then Charlie was sat in the same room with us and it was just like bing, 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 bing. Yeah, it was just, just a, a yeah. ring of being followed by this one company. Yeah. Um, so if you are that company, uh, you know, learn from this, hopefully. It's nice to see that we are setting the standard. Mm. Um, I think I think we are doing, I think we are setting the standard almost. I think for Moonswatch straps, yeah. Yeah. We'll discuss that in the next one on our Google ad standing and mm. mark. We'll get we'll de- we'll delve into the marketing in the next episode as well. Yeah. Um. But we'll we'll wrap this one up now because we've gone over forty five minutes. And I was trying to keep it under forty five, but that is okay. Extra right. one minute something. Mm. So thank you very much for listening. Um. Follow us, rate us on Spotify because you can rate podcast. One, one five star so far. Two five stars. Oh, two five stars. Two five stars. Smashing. Mm. Um. Yeah. Subscribe on YouTube. Um. If you've got any thoughts comments any questions let us know we might uh, we'll, we'll try and build up a q a board for mm. questions so if you've got any questions let us know and then we'll do a q a video as well that's a good idea thank you right. right thank you very much for listening and we'll see you soon goodbye <laughs>